Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter, glad you could join us tonight. Animal Control in Raleigh still trying their best to capture safely that venomous zebra cobra that's on the loose. Yeah, they're closer to finding it thanks to CBS 17's Judith Rotana, who spotted the snake herself. She was so calm too. Judith, you've been out there all day. Uh, still calm, I see. I, I want to know, how did you remain so calm when you saw that snake? I think part of it was because we talked to a snake expert yesterday and he talked through exactly why the snake is dangerous and what to do if people see it. gave me a little bit of perspective going into it, but I'll tell you the first thing I wanted to do. But not the, the same home where a venom spitting snake was last spotted is a place I came face to face with it. Our photojournalist filming as I walked up to this house to speak with the owners. Checking my surroundings, I look down and can't believe what I'm seeing. The dangerous non-native zebra two feet away, close enough to spray its venom in my face. The snake and I make eye contact and slowly back away from each other. Take another closer look at the bottom left corner of the porch. As soon as I walk up the door, the snake rears its head up neither of us wanting anything to do with the other. Next thing I did was tell the officer sitting just across the street. It's on the porch right now. Yeah, I went to knock and it's kind of on that corner. That officer goes to check it out before shutting down the neighborhood, calling more police and animal control. All right, stay, stay back I'm, here. I am, I'm staying out here. It's our footage that officers used to confirm yeah. this is a striped snake they've been looking for. The snake still sitting on this porch for hours. It's prompted questions from worried neighbors. I don't think there's really a reason to have a venomous snake as a pet. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? It's not cuddly like a dog. I went to the snake owner's home a half mile away to talk about the escape. We heard voices inside, but no one answered the door. Meanwhile, people in the neighborhood still on high alert. We got our machine and we got our pistol just in case anything it gets too close to us. Little did I know, I'd be the one that got too close and ultimately very lucky. Now, Animal Control is still out here trying to come up with a plan on how they're going to catch this thing. Just a couple minutes ago, we did see a couple of officers put on some face shields and bring out snake hooks. It looked like they were going to go in, but from this distance, we can't really see what's going on. Police are asking us to stay far down in case the snake makes a run for it to make sure we're safe because, again, this is a very dangerous snake and nothing to be messed with. We're now live in Raleigh. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News.